Hi, I am going to show you how to do the teapot demonstration using the MPU6050 and the Arduino. First of all, I will show you the various connection between the Arduino and the MPU6050. Details are available on the internet, however, to make things a little simpler, this is how the connections are to be made. The VCC of the uh, MPU goes to the 5 volts, ground to ground, SDA to A4, SCL to A5 and the interrupt goes to the second pin of the Arduino. Now coming to the various files which are to be downloaded. There are basically three files which are to be downloaded. The first file is the i2c dev lib file by j rauberg and it is available on github and uh, from the download zip option you can uh, download this file the second file which you have to download is the processing uh, file which is available at uh, processing.org and uh, the other options of processing are you have processing available in 2.2.1 but somehow I was getting some errors so I downloaded the uh, processing 1.5.1 the third file which you have to download is the uh, toxic lib file and the toxic lib files are available at toxiclib.org uh, and you can explore the download option and uh, you'll get some files so basically what we are interested in is the toxic libs complete uh, 0020 and uh, you are also interested in the, the repository because unless you uh, download these two files the uh, demonstration will not work. Now having uh, downloaded the uh, i2c dev lib uh, you extract the files to a, a folder now you are basically interested in the two files one is the i2c dev file and the second one is the uh, mpu6050 now you copy these two uh, folders and you paste it in the go to my documents and uh, in the documents library you will find the uh, folder called uh, Arduino in the Arduino folder you will have libraries and in the libraries you paste these two files that is the i2c dev and the mpu6050 now you open MPU6050 you have examples and you have the MPU in the DMS uh, MPU5060 data motion processing and once you install the processing uh, files you and you extract you will also get a folder called processing and in the processing you will have uh, the folder called uh, MPU teapot. Now, the toxic libs, uh, the files which we have extracted, are to be loaded or installed in the folder which is because once you open the processing uh, sketch folder you get the option of file and in file when you uh, see the preferences 
like the preference for downloading or installing the toxic lib files in my case is in the my documents in the arduino folder you may get another option in uh, uh, your uh, laptop or computer because in the other laptop when i was trying to run this demonstration uh, the option given was uh, documents processing so whatever is the option given you download the toxic the two toxic lib files which i told you about in the folder as shown in the preference um, and you in fact to extract the two files in this uh, location this is the sketchbook location and you have to extract these two files of toxic lips otherwise you will have lot of problems in running your uh, your uh, teapot demonstration <clears throat> once you have uh, downloaded these three files you open the uh, mpu uh, correction what you do is you go to where you have you go to uh, um, my documents go to my documents and uh, first you open the arduino sketch and in the sketch you have libraries in the library you have the mpu 6050 which you have just pasted Uh, and you open this sketch you get come to examples in the example you have the mpu 6050 dmp that is the data motion processor you open this you get two options of uh, processing and the mpu first you open the mpu 6050 and uh, you have this sketch which is there you download it uh, or you upload this sketch on the arduino the sketch is being uploaded it takes a little time on my computer so i see the sketch has been uploaded you open the monitor icon and uh, what you will see is uh, that the mpu 6050 connection has been successful and you feed any character and uh, you uh, press this Uh, you get lot of feed that means your uh, mpu 6050 is functional then what you have to do is basically you have to make a certain uh, binary change in the mpu sketch you have the define pitch roll and you comment it out and uh, then you have the define teapot option which is commented you uncomment this and you again upload the sketch now now you open the uh, processing folder mpu teapot you open it with processing what you have to ensure is that both these sketches the processing sketch and the arduino uh, sketch they work on the same port so uh, you have this uh, this line where you have the string port name you what you do is you comment it out and uh, in the uh, port setting uh, where 
number 4 port is there you put the correct port for which is there for come hmm. So, uh, you see the uh, teapot, this thing has uh, been displayed, the visualization and uh, here when I use, when I move my MPU 6050, the the aircraft displayed on the visualization screen it also moves with the so this is the teapot demonstration and uh, uh, i hope you liked it and in case there are any queries you can uh, send your queries to me thank you for watching